Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Pisces. So let's go ahead and tune your energy Pisces. All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. For those of you that are new to the channel, make sure before you leave to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right, make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. All right, you guys, I am doing some sound collaboration. So after this series that I'm finishing up this week, there will be some sound healing for you to tune yourself to balance and pull away from that which doesn't serve you. All right, guys, so I wanna go right into this. We have number five communication card. It says, speak up and be heard. Now, this card is all about you, you know, being encouraged to use a nonverbal form of communication as well. You know, like journaling or writing poetry, maybe making some positive affirmations, painting, you know, music, stuff like that just expressing yourself in different forms. So those of you Pisces that are musically inclined, play some tunes, all right? All right, you guys, all these cards are popping out. I'm just gonna go right into this and create an opening. Sended masters, angels, and guides, please guide me to the highest and best messages for the sign of Pisces. Thank you, angels, for also reminding me of your presence and revealing to me what I need to know for the person watching this video. I'm willing to listen and receive for those who cannot hear. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be. And so it is. It is done. All right. So first offhand, I want to talk to you about family. The first card that comes out is all about this notion around you know really keeping things intact i think a lot of it has to do with covid and you know the state of what's going on in the world but also wanting to take care of your family if you have some kids that are out of school off to college and you know you really don't have a whole lot of contact with them i think you're just trying to reel that in a little bit maybe get some extra time with them or for those of you that have older children you know really try, drawing in those kids really trying to spend some quality time with them all right so lots of positive energy that comes in right away my next card here is i think the reason why you're so focused on the family so much is maybe there was some stuff that happened in your childhood in your past and you know there is this divine teacher within you that's been teaching you all these lessons about your suffering and how to let go of things and how to heal and so i think that you know this suffering card really takes precedence to the past and knowing about all the suffering and pain that was caused in a certain situation. It could have been a divorce because we do have a family card here as well. Our next card coming out here is psychic awareness. Maybe because of the suffering, there was this opening within that allowed you to really connect to your intuition and really see yourself in a totally different way. And we have our intuition card knowing that you have a gift, relying upon that inner gift, healing that inner child within, helping yourself create a better life. We also have a celebration here, knowing that good is coming, happy is coming, not wanting to be in suffering, opposition is celebration. And being guided towards happiness, that is your intuition. And I think it's really 
really coming into play deeply here. Now with that celebration comes some pleasure. So for those of you that are single Pisces out there, well, there's a love a coming with some pleasure and passion. So Pisces, you know, there are those of you that are partnered up with somebody. And I think that, you know, you guys are going to get down to the nitty gritty and bring some more love into the partnership. Because we have partnership in love. There is this new redefining moment right now with you, Pisces, about what's really important. Or po and, excuse me. <laughs> I can't even talk today. What's really important to you, Pisces? Partnerships in love, security, happiness, creating some leadership in your career, helping others. We have people helping, partnering up. I mean, we've got it in both these cards here. So really helping out people. Also creating a compromise around your life. I think dealing with this person from the past, if you guys got out of a situation it was a little toxic, maybe coming to terms, maybe having a happy medium with each other so the kids can prosper. I think that's really the thing. I think in the past you were in a lot of denial over this person that maybe you had kids with. In denial about who they were, created a lot of disarray in your life, discontent. There wasn't anything going on that was really adding to your life and you were in denial over it. So that's what the suffering card is all about. Now there is a strong life force within you that helps you to survive. And so we do have the Aphrodite card, which brings in a love partner for those of you that aren't partnered up. This is sacred union Aphrodite. It gives the kiss of love, helping you to survive. Some of us can live on love, you know, helping you to create some self-esteem and start taking care of yourself, being supported and protected by our garden, guardian angel, Michael. There's a lot of cards that popped out here. I think this is you having an understanding and epiphany of how to take care of your self. You know, to really, I say, connect to your higher guidance here, your higher self. You're in a place right now where you're creating a lot of devotion to those things that are most important to you, Pisces. And because of that, you know, there is this intervention of, you know, intervention of invention. So really creating a space where... You are intervening in the sad life and creating and inventing a new life full of prosperity, going into solitude to figure out the plan on how to make your life a lot better at this time. Taking care of your body, eating what's right, maybe getting some exercise, going outside in nature, connecting with Mother Earth. This is a Mama Gaia card, Pachamama. Is what Mother Gaia is also called, or Mother Earth, whatever you call her. Creating that decision, connecting with nature and your higher self and saying, hey, look, I had suffering in the past but I want love now. I think you're going to do anything to get there because of what happened in the past. Person probably had you under a microscope and was really checking you out. Either you were a player or they were a player in the situation. And I think that's what caused all the suffering. Maybe in a polyamorous relationship or maybe not. So... Lots of judging yourself on the past. Maybe judging someone else on the past too. Pisces, I don't know. Sometimes these readings get all crazy deep and I'm just like, oh. That's why I get tongue twisting, can't talk sometimes because <laughs> it's crazy. Just saying. All right priorities. You are becoming your master teacher. You're teaching yourself about how to prioritize you and the things that are most positive in your life. 
<clears throat> let's get into some other cards here. All right, so I pulled the angel cards, and this is an interesting spread here because, like I said, being supported by Archangel Michael, and then we have our spiritual support card. It says, Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. There you go. Lots of guidance, higher guidance here. Look at this, Archangel Metatron, clearing your vibes. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. You know, I think this assistance is really helping you to become earthly and grounded. Like I said, you are getting validation. You are being heard now. And you're trusting your intuitive vibes. Thank you, angels, today. I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. There you go. That kind of validates all the other cards, right? Let's see if we can go a little bit deeper into this. Who is this person that's coming in? Or how is this current partnership, for those of you that are partnered up, how's this going to play out? Maybe the spark is gone and you're going to reignite the fire. Who knows, Pisces? It's all up to you, right? You're the one creating your destiny. You're the one creating your experience here. Okay, look at this. Detach from drama, look up. This is you letting go of the past. This is you letting go of the X. For those of you guys that this is resonating with. Letting go of the suffering. Letting go of the pain. Seeing a rainbow where maybe a rainbow is normally not seen in your life. Here's a dimensional gateway. This is an invitation for you to change. Let go of the drama. Let go of the X. Find your way. This is an invitation for something better. Look, review and reflection. Time out is needed. There you go. This is you having a clear viewpoint on what's going on here with that X. Get clear with yourself, Pisces. Sometimes you've been looking through rose-colored glasses like the rest of us. We're all, you know, in that space of clarity right now. What do we got here with our healing cards? It says, work daily towards improving your mental health. There you go. Well, separating from that X might help your mental health. Just saying. Make gentleness a habit. So, being kind and loving and self-nurturing to yourself at this time, Pisces, getting through this, dealing with the X, dealing with the toxicity. For those of you that this isn't resonating with an X or it is resonating with someone, take the time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution so you don't focus on the bad. Sometimes it's okay to be happy. But I always say, it's all right to be happy in your own way. Nobody's here to dictate your happiness but you. That's your responsibility, you guys. Don't listen to everybody because everybody doesn't really have an opinion on your life, Pisces. I want to figure out what this love thing is. You guys know me. I like to get into the love stuff. Just saying. Mm. I feel like something good's about to happen to you, Pisces. Feel some good, fluffy, happy, go lucky energy here. Maybe thinking about a person from the past. Some of you guys that don't have an ex, it's toxic. Maybe somebody that you just were with for a few months. Things weren't going right, they left. Now, now you guys are having the opportunity to see something different. Look, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So maybe some healing going on between you guys. We have the trust card. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, we'll automatically transform. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stresses. So go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. Here we go. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. 
there you go you guys so if you want to go a little bit deeper into this love reading all my information's down there in that description box below and know that i'm here to support you guys i'm always here to give you guidance but you know you have free will so make sure that you choose for yourself wisely love you guys so much pisces get in on my readings get in on my sound healings and make sure you put your name in that comment box below so that you'll be entered in my drawings all right i love you pisces namaste